Oh my goodness. Good morning and happy day. It is 4.30, no, 4.55 a.m. Five minutes before the big hour of five o'clock. It is March the 7th, 2023. It's a Tuesday morning. Oh, 33 degrees Fahrenheit, and I am full of gratitude. Welcome to my gratitude list. I do this as a model. Um, it was suggested to me by uh, by one of the internet people, one of my YouTube people, that uh, gratitude can help your life. They were right. And it's something I want to pay for to other people. Who are like me. I suffer from the chronic lonelies, the chronic mopies, and the chronic angries. And this gratitude list has helped me so much over the past couple of years. It's given me the ability to find a quiet, neutral space within myself when the seas are rocking the boat of my day and my self-talk is ganging up on me and my day is going sideways. I have the ability to calm the fuck down <laughs> and um, find a space within myself and go from there with new choices. So I start with my foundation six. It's not to repeat myself daily and say the same thing over and over again. It's to develop a muscle memory, spiritually, emotionally, you know, um, and it's, it's practice, it's discipline. You, just, you know, it's, 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 it's wax on, wax off in a way. So I am grateful for my family, my friends, my faith, my freedom, my health, and my union job. And from there, I elaborate. You need to build a foundation before you build the dwelling that supports that existence. It's, a, it's an allegory, you know? Or is it a metaphor? Let me know in the comments section which one you think it is. And, um, yeah, I am grateful and I am blessed for the friends that I have made, especially recently, too. I mean, I've connected with people from my YouTube sphere. We meet in real life and um, they're all good people and they're all uh, it's diverse. It's it's enriching. It's uh, it, it's. It's nice, and it's uh, and they're younger people too. I mean, I'm the old. I'm pretty much one of the old men in the bunch. There's a couple of other geezers, but uh, <laughs> you know, it's nice. And um, we, our, our fandom and our love of these stories, or entertainments, or games, or cosplay, or going to conventions, you know, unites us, and it's really nice. And um, but also, you know, not, you know, not talking about my, my beloved um, local community, but what brought us together was uh, some of these huge, the bigger than, you know, big YouTube stations. And for the past, you know, few years, pretty much since Disney Star Wars started going toe up, has been our dissatisfaction with the direction of it. And that has made us outcasts, outlaws, we've been called bigots, racists, Nazis, uh, ists, phobes, because there's no balance of, uh, of messaging and storytelling. And a lot of the content that we, we tune into and that we share, because we met all through the, the live chats of the, all these shows, and I'm grateful for these shows. They gave me the, the, the wherewithal and, and vision to execute my own show, my own channel. But um, there's a lot of outrage and a lot of negativity. And then there's a lot of, um, dare I say, tribalizations and stuff. I don't know. People stick together and there are cliques and there's infighting. I just, I, I stay free of that. I'm, I got a day job. And I shoot my content, and I'm grateful to be on people's shows when they invite me on. And, uh, and I stay free of the drama. But it's out there. 
and it has it can have an effect on you these are relationships that you have you wear these people's t-shirts you, you give them super chats you're part of a community and um, you know and I, I'm simultaneously grateful for this experience but also I'm grateful for the wisdom of when to back away from stuff too that I don't need to get wrapped up in the negativity or the outrage that it brings me down seriously it comes down to how do I want to spend my free time away from work and not asleep do I want to be perpetually riled up about things that are out of my control or do I want to kick back and watch Bob Ross paint a mountain and some happy trees. I'm gonna choose Bob Ross and telling me that there are no accidents, there are, that there are no mistakes, there are only happy accidents. And um, I want you to feel that way too. So if you're feeling that way, clobbered by this fandom and the, the, the needs and all these divergent personalities and the negativity that's out there, just step away from it and be true to yourself and make a content. Make the kind of content you want to watch. Make the kind of content that you want to chill out to. That's what I do. I know, and I'm no one perfect. I'm, I'm just a human being like you. But, you know, the Buddha said we have to identify suffering and then reconcile it. And that's where I come from. So thank you so much for paying attention today for my gratitude list. Uh, like and subscribe if you could be so kind. I'm going to go hunt some bunnies. You have a good morning. Find that weapon. <laughs> See ya.